Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will solve few numericals related to floods and flood routing. So the first question says that the inflow at fifth hour in a channel at upstream section is given as five meter cube per second, and outflow at fifth hour in the upstream is given as six meter cube per second. So let us draw the diagram. Let us say that this is the upstream section, and this is the downstream section. and uh, the inflow is at 5th hour and comparatively the data at 6th hour is also given so this is for the i n minus 1 and q n minus 1 as per muskingum equation this is i n and q n as per muskingum equation so this will be 5th hour and this will be the data for 6th hour so inflow at 5th hour is given as that means this is i5 and i5 is given as 5 meter cube per second the outflow at fifth hour that means q5 q5 is given as 6 meter cube per second now calculate the outflow at downstream section it is asking you to calculate q6 and i6 is given as 12 meter cube per second calculate yes 12 meter cube per second you are also given with the coefficients for muskingum equation C naught is given as minus point two five, and C one is given as point five five. You all very well know how to calculate the third coefficient or any one missing coefficient if any two of the coefficients are given. C naught plus C one plus C two is equal to one. So minus point two five plus point five five plus C two will be equal to one. So you can calculate the value of C two, and C two will come out as zero point. Seven zero. So this is the value of coefficient number c two. Now you are you know the equation for Muskingum. It is q n equals to c naught i n plus c one i n minus one plus c two q n minus one. This is the equation. I am rubbing this portion. We all know value of c two now. It is zero point seven zero. So you can calculate q six as c naught i six plus c one i five. Plus C two Q five. So putting the values, C naught is given as minus point two five multiplied by I six. I C I six is given as twelve. Plus C one is given as point five five and I five is given as five. And C two we calculated as point seven zero and Q five is given as six meter cube per second. So this is the equation. when you will solve this equation you will obtain the value of q6 as 3.95 meter cube per second so this is the value of outflow discharge at the downstream section at the 6th hour now moving on to the next question the next question is related to the probability of mathematics we all we have studied about that So the question says that a temporary coffer dam is to be built to protect the five-year construction activity for a major cross valley dam. If the coffer dam is designed to withstand the twenty-year flood, you are given with the return period of a flood and t is given as twenty. So the probability you can calculate the probability of this flood as one by twenty. The risk that the structure will be overtopped in the third year exactly. It is asking that what is the risk involved that the structure will be overtopped in the third year exactly. It is designed for five years, but you want that the structure will be overtopped in the third year. That means in first year there will be no flood, in second year also there will be no flood, but in third year the flood has to come. So you will have to calculate the probability for this. The probability that the flood will not come is one minus p. So it is one minus one by twenty. It is equal to nineteen by twenty. So the probability that the structure will be overtopped in the third year is nineteen by twenty. In the first year there will be no flood. In the second year also there will be no flood. But in third year there has to be a flood. So this is the probability that the structure will be overtopped in the third year. You can calculate this. It is 19 square divided by 20 cube. So when you will solve this, it will turn out to be 0.04512. So in percentage, you can calculate it as 4.512 percent. So this is the probability. If it might have asked you to calculate the probability for n equals to 
p n equals to 4 then it would have been 19 by 20 19 by 20 19 by 20 multiplied by 1 is to 20 so this is for n is to 4 so now moving on to the next question the next question says that the return period for the annual maximum flood of a given magnitude is 8 years you are again given with a return period of a flood and it is 8 years the probability that the flood magnitude will be exceeded once during the next 5 years that means in 5 years it will be exceeded only once it is not given at least once or it is not given at most it is given that exactly once that means you will have to go with binomial formula ncr p to the power r q to the power n minus r this is the probability for r so in the five years it has to exceed exactly once so 5c1 r is 1 and n is 5 in five years it has to exceed only once so 5c1 p what is p p will be 1 by t so it will be 1 by 8 and q will be 1 minus p so it will be 7 by 8 so what is p p is 1 by 8 r is 1 what is q q is 7 by 8 what is n n is 5 r is 1 5 minus 1 it will be 4 so 5 c 1 you know what is the value of 5 c 1 it is 5 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 1 factorial so it will be 5 so 5 multiplied by 1 by 8 into 7 to the power 4 divided by 8 to the power 4 so when you will solve this you will get the probability for r equals to 1 as 0.366 that means 3.66 percent so this is given in option number b i guess so this is the correct answer for this question similarly it might have asked you to calculate risk or reliability so you can calculate that this is risk that in n number of years the risk is defined as that in n number of years the flood has the chance to occur exactly once so this is the called as risk and 1 minus risk is calculated by reliability so now moving on to the next question next question is related to Gumbel's method we all have studied about Gumbel's method very uh, in detail so the question says that the mean flood annual flood of a river is 600 meter cube per second and the standard deviation of annual flood time series is 150 meter cube per second that means you are given with x bar so x bar is 600 meter cube per second and you are given with standard deviation it is 150 meter cube per second now probability of a flood of magnitude 1000 meter cube per second exceeding at least once within next 10 years will be n is given as 10 years and you are given with a data that a y n bar is 0.577 and sn equals to 1.2825 this has to be remembered if it is not given in the question but since it is given in the question you need not to remember for this particular question you know how to apply the Gumbel's equation xt minus x bar divided by sigma equals to yt minus yn bar divided by sn so you know the value of x bar and you know the value of this sigma so you can place these values in this equation you also know what is the value of xt xt is given as 1000 meter cube per second you have to calculate the probability for this 1000 meter cube per second flood so xt will be 1000 so 1000 minus 600 divided by 150 will be equal to yt minus yn bar yn bar is 0.577 sn is 1.2825 so from this equation you can easily calculate the value of yt so yt is coming out to be 3.997 you know what is yt yt is the gumbel's reduced variate so you know how to solve for yt yt can be solved by minus ln ln t upon t minus 1 so this is equal to 3.997 from this equation you can calculate the value of t and what is t t is the return period of the flood so when you will solve this equation you will obtain the value of t as 54.9 years so we can assume it to be equal to 55 years exactly 
so now we know the return period of the flood but the question is asking you the probability that it is exceeded at least once in the next 10 years that means it is asking you to calculate the risk you know how to calculate the risk so let us first calculate the probability it is 1 by t so it is 1 divided by 55 it is 0 0.0182 this is the probability you know how to calculate the risk risk is 1 minus q to the power n q is 1 minus 0 0.0182 so risk will be calculated as 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.0182 and to the power 10 since n is given as 10 years so it will come out to be 0 0.1678 so this is the risk and if it is asked in percentage you can write it as 16.78% so this is the risk that is involved with this particular structure you can use Gumbel's equation very easily now moving on to the next question the next question is also based on the risk and reliability so the question says that a culvert is designed for a flood frequency of 100 years and a useful life of 20 years that means you are given with the return period and it is 100 years and n is given as 20 years now uh, the risk involved with the design in percentage up to two decimal places so it is asking you to calculate risk you know how to calculate risk risk is 1 minus 1 minus p to the power n you can calculate p as 1 divided by 100 it will be 0 0.01 so risk is 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.01 to the power 20 so when you will solve this you will get it as 0 0.18209 but it is asking you in percentage so it is 18.209 percent but it is asking you to round off up to two decimal places so it is 18.21 percentage so this is the risk that is involved this with this particular structure now moving on to the last question of this the question says that in Western Ghat area of Maharashtra for a catchment area of 53.6 km squares, you are given with the area, it is 53.6 km square. Maximum flood flow for the catchment is. So you will have to use definitely the English formula for this. You know this formula was derived for the western ghat area of maharashtra specifically so you should remember that which particular formula is derived for which particular region like you should know that dickens formula Wright's formula are derived for what particular areas i have already taught you this particular thing so you know english formula is derived for western ghat area of maharashtra so you can directly apply for this you have to calculate the flood flow maximum flood flow the maximum flood flow is given as Q equals to 124A divided by A plus 10.4 and the under root of the denominator. You know A is in kilometer square in this and when you will place A in kilometer square Q will be in meter cube per second. So it is 124 multiplied by 53.6 divided by 53.6 plus 10.4. So when you will solve this you will get the discharge as 830.8 .8 meter cube per second so this is the maximum flood flow that will occur in this particular area so this is all about the floods and flood routing thank you